I should have made this video a few months back, but for some reason I just, I guess it skipped my mind. Over the past few months, I've come to learn how some players know every small detail about the game and some will know almost nothing. And there's a few like tricks or subtle things players don't know about. And I just want to go over their various dailies and also some tips on the TP because I accused someone of being a scammer when they just had no idea how to make a bit over 2 million. I'm like, oh, your account's five years old. You should know, but that's just dumb. So maybe, maybe I'm missing some daily knowledge. Maybe you are too. We can learn together, but I'm just going to go through this. I'll put a link to this thing below, but basically you just search Jelly Neo dailies. This thing pops up. And you go through them and you just basically, you could control left if you want to, or you could just click right click, open new tab or click it. But basically you go through all the, e all the easy simple ones. Bank interest, I'm not that rich, but this matters too much to me. <laughs> I think I have about 9, 10 million. Colts and Shrine. Various people, make sure the right pet you want to have on here. So let's say I want to train my actual proper pet. I would click the right button first of all, and then I would click over here to make active. And then you just reload the page, and here we go. What's gonna happen? A doubloon coin, pretty cool. I do Forgotten Shore and Fruit Machine. There's some I don't do because I just can't be bothered, <laughs> I'll be honest. Just click here, if you can't click, you won nothing. Spin the wheel, Still, still breaks my heart that I got a speckled paintbrush when I got uh, one here. The icons for it. Win some, you lose some. I do Grumpy Old King. I don't do the jelly thing. You can get it twice a day. There's one. And there's two. Basically, I think over 750, you'll get like a unique prize. I got a cloak here a couple days ago, which was very cool. I don't need the food because my pets are in there. People do the crosswords and the tombs, but I don't think it's too, too worth it. So I also obviously do grave danger. You just send your pet here. Sometimes you get cool things. There's a stamp here, I think, with a whole bunch of money. There's tips to do the lunar temple, but I just can't be bothered to learn how to do it. There's a pretty subtle nice way to do it if it's going to load. You need a little add-on to it, I think, but there's a little thing you could do that later. Magma pool. I don't know my time. I don't do these because the prizes are pretty useless. I'll do that later. I also don't do this. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the game I don't want to do, but people, people always yell at me to do it. I don't know how to do it, so I don't worry about it. The prizes to me aren't really worth the hassle. I personally just focus on reselling. You can go to the, like the restock, like if you get people to come work together, you could all like click stuff and eventually it'll refill it with other stuff. But I think they stop refreshing that or whatnot. Soup Kitchen, Rich Slorg. He gives you like 100 Neo points or 200. Soup Kitchen, feed food. There's a timer for the symbol hole that's out there. Same with Tarla. I'll talk about Tarla for sure later. But. Just smash these few in here. Obviously, Trudy just spams your front page, so you obviously know when she wants that. You get one per day. Miss the day, it goes back down to 1,500. You can fish with all your pets, but I've had so many friends who have 10, 15, 20 pets, and they've gotten nothing good here. So I don't stress about it. Obviously, scratch cards are super fun. I don't play the games. <clears throat> Bit of a hassle. Pipped of a chance. Just click six times. You lose. I'll do a, a few of these other games later, but basically I just do these three simple ones here. There's Tarla. I've won 20k a few times, and you win like some booby prizes every now and then. I always go right, left, right. I don't know why. I was so excited when I won the obelisk battle and I got that free thing and I, I go there with the basically the, what would you call that? The cartography bonus and then I won every day for like a week and I got nothing and I was so mad. I'm like, why did I care about this? 
a coincidence. You can get a P3 doing this. Various other TCGs worth a bunch of money. But if it costs over, I, I've gotten nothing over 15K here ever. So basically, if it costs over 10K, I just don't do it. I probably should memorize shops that uh, have all the items because most, most of them cost like almost nothing. Pretty straightforward. I think one person in the Discord has gotten three P3s here. So yeah, I mean, not me, but it will be fun one day. Instead, I just try and resell some P3s. <laughs> yeah. I encourage you, if you ever get a P3 here, just ask people what it's actually worth. Because, like, the going rate, it fluctuates so much. I think they fixed it, maybe. I'm told they did, but I don't really care about P3s in terms of having them on my pets. That's a cool Jetsum. One, two, three. Nothing's going to happen here. You're... Every so often, my pet will gain a level or point in this or get stupider or something. Nothing happens. Kind of a waste of time is what it is. I do I do tell you this quest sometimes to get a nag if I'm bored. The attic, I think it restocks every seven minutes. It has to have a certain amount of items. So if you and your friends can buy the crappy items, you can try and refresh. This can like I think you can actually give up to R99s here. If you get bored, go ahead and do that. Alright, guess the where I'm at. guess the way the marrow. This game as a kid got me banned. I'm sure you've heard that story before. I took over a bot farm, changed the pet. Like basically one day my friend, that's oh, over. My friend was like, hey, like I made a bunch of accounts and I want a whole bunch of code stones and stuff. So I was like, oh, that's cool. So I basically went through a dictionary and I was like, oh, what are the popular holidays? And I would just guess those holidays with the password. Like I guess like Christmas one, a Christmas password Christmas. If it worked, I got Christmas one, Pastor Christmas, and I basically found a bot farm that I just took over. I took over all the stuff, changed his password to like Easter <laughs> or something or like New Year's. And then I basically, I guessed the right number there. And I just, then I logged into like 14 different accounts and claimed prizes in the next like back to back to back. And then I got, then I got banned on the accounts. But then I was going to middle school soon, so then I quit playing anyways. I really hate the respawn icon. It really, really irks me. The scallywags. Ugh. All right. Tips and clues. Did I not spin the wheel extravaganza? There's a quick link to do those wheels. I'll show you in a few seconds. Spin the wheel. <clears throat> Marie in the Discord, she got a plushy paintbrush off this thing. It was crazy. I want to hit the. I want to see someone hit the R100 table at some point. That would make my day. Money back. That's actually a blessing here. So also on Neo Jelly, you can find this guide, where if you just search. What's the one I gotta search here? Guide. <clears throat> nope. No, no, no. It tells you here special links. So basically, you can play these games if you would just click this. And there should be a little click link here somewhere. Right with a flash. And all you do is you just hit F5. You refresh or just here and enter. It'll reload it. <clears throat> and you just hit it till it says go away. You can go slow. You can go fast. It doesn't make a difference. But I would like to see it say something cool one time before, <laughs> before it's all said and done. <clears throat> There's a jackpot in this game. It's pretty cool. There's some actually really awesome prizes you could win here. Yeah, see it says, let someone else play. Move on. Scroll down. Coconut Shy. Just click that. I had them all copy pasted, so I just do it that manually, but just to show you guys. <clears throat> Basically, you want to say, like, I think 10,000, and you win a coconut that's worth, like, 400 to 700 K and you could also win 500 K and a coconut as well. Pretty cool. I've had various people who have played this game over the years have won literally all the coconuts. 
So I don't think it's ultra rare, but obviously if you don't do it, you got no chance to win it. So you might as well. No more throws. All right, cork gun. I think there's more luck based upon actually clicking, but... <clears throat> Like the, it just goes down by 10 here, and I don't know how the prizes work. I don't think there's anything too special here, but it's a daily. Just press F5, F5 a few times here. And no more shots. All right. And here is to use a little, most of this little like token game that I used to play. I won a prize for like 3K the other day. Travels. It'll say like you won something right here. I won also for like four Neo points the other day. The prizes are all down here if you want to see them. These are great guides. I'm not sure where the actual link is to, to play, so I'm just gonna go get it myself. I'll probably put I'll put it in the description below if you don't want to be bothered. All right, back we are. Basically, you just take the thing, copy paste, you'll get an instant reward. I lose half your things, but basically it tells you like, it's not great value here. But I'll just show you the wheel. I can probably switch it on here. Monotony. It tells you the odds here, I think somewhere or somewhere. So, yeah, basically, very low chat. You can get a Coke stone, obviously one in a thousand for that or a mag. But you know, like it just one click, just easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So it did all of that and another Obviously, the, I haven't the Battle Dome yet, but you can do the quest for, for various trophies. But before I do my Battle Dome, there's one other link I want to show you that I'll post in the comments. All right, so this is Tarla. I should actually probably search this actually here. This is one of the better dailies, by the way. Basically, you have a few minutes. How many is it? Actually, Neo Jelly Guide. Should I search this? Tarla Neo Jelly Guide. Because this is actually an easy peasy way to make some profit. Basically, you got a few. You got available for 15 minutes, different intervals. Long story short, it tells you what to do. Basically, you go to the current day. We're obviously in August. It highlights the good rewards in case you just don't know. You just don't want to deal with it. That's, so we're in August, which is like is the eighth month of the year, unless I'm stupid. So yes, this was today. Today was the ultra icy neg. Basically, if you went there, you wait for 1:42 Neo Standard Time, not your time, Neo Standard Time. You hit that link, you get sent there, and you will get a prize. It might not load for you or show you you want. If I go to your inventory, you will get it. So if you went at 1:43, you would get an ultra icy neg. If you go at 940 this or at 444, so basically you have four times during the day to win the prize. This prize is worth nothing. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. This is why some pay, why some secret lab map pieces are worth nothing and some are worth like 700, 500, 300k. Basically, you just make sure the calendar, okay, cool. On this day, do I want a cloud paintbrush? Which, what's that actually worth? Let's find out. It's got to go down probably. Can I search it on here? Cloud paint brush? Can't. Oh. First little problem for premium. Um, cloud paint brush. So yeah, a good chance to get, you know, it might drop like 20K, but a good, like 200K? That's some fun for some people. I guess, like, I, well, it's fun for me. It's a nerf, basically. But yeah, just something to, if you want to just keep it to your thing. But yeah, so here's going to be a paintbrush. But basically, you just every so often you see, okay, cool, like rock neg, awesome, treasure map, okay. And obviously, some of these are worth like a, you know, 100 to 5K. But yeah, you just, it's very simple, very straightforward. Obviously, December is the Evan calendar, but it's all down here. Various tabs down here you can go worry about. Very cool stuff. Okay. Another side that I want to get into here. You can also scratch these cards if you had as a various plugin you can have, but I don't really 
enjoy too much with scratch cards because I've lost millions on those. Battle Dome. So I know people who have strong pets who didn't know this. Come on, get it together. That if you're... Fr okay, my pet's kind of dead. Oh, I can't open another tab here. But basically, if you don't have premium, but you have a strong pet, you can still fight the Snowager for a good profit, or you can fight the robot pet pet. I'll, I'll just go over it in a second. Let's, we got time, right, friends? And if there's anything I don't talk about, don't know, please add it to the comments, and I'll try to make an update, or I'll do a video showing why I'm stupid. <laughs> like, I have very little game knowledge. I've just been, I'm just being educated like two things by each person. And after you like talk to 100 people, you kind of learn a whole bunch of cool stuff. But okay, I did not heal my pet. That's a bummer. I bought that. I'm right. Okay, so let's show you a few things. Obviously, you know this this thing I just bought. The essence heals your pet 250. Heal the right pet. Easy peasy. Okay, battle. Okay, so say you get 15 rewards a day, okay? So let me just load the page up. Okay, there's a page here. You just search Battle Dome Rewards and you're going to find it. So what you got to understand is that you can win every code stone and all these paintbrushes no matter where you battle. It doesn't matter if you battle in any of these places, you're eligible for these always. So even if you can't kill a good monster, which you probably, which you can, you are still eligible to get these codes. So some of these cost like 50k, and EO is like 18, 20. It's always worth to do the battle dome. 15 prizes a day. Okay, basically, so understand the battle dome. It'll tell you if you fight any one of these pets. You besides these code stones, you're also eligible to win these and this and that. But then the specific pets or specific things you fight have different rewards. If you fight them on the easy thing, so if I fight easy, I could get these rewards. So if you just simply want to have fun one day, you just right click and see, oh, what's that worth? 1300. And then each pet has various rewards. And basically, I'd recommend three different ones to fight. If I can just find them quickly not on here okay if you're the weakest obviously if you have premium if you have premium you're fighting jetsam ace if you're super strong you're killing the fungus to, on hard to try and get bubbling fungus worth like 100k also naturally i tried to battle oh where is he that's space fungus jetsam ace Technically and mathematically, you should have a better chance to get more Nurkers because there's one less prize here on easy. But for me personally, I find hard better than medium. That's just my superstition. But back on to what you're here. If you don't have premium, you don't want to pay the money or you can't afford it or whatever, it's not for you. That's the second pet. I'm looking for the robot. But each battle has, has its own reward. That's why you'll see something's cost like nothing in, in the Neopets right here this is the general prize you're looking for if you can kill anyone here you're eligible to get an armored nag armored nag okay let's just quickly go over to neopets you might not win that many across a month or a year but basically your pet could be literally 30 hp and two items that cost you 15k you're eligible to win an item worth 260k. I think these rests are all kind of like those old these Neo Cold tokens are about 3,000 to 4,000 each, depending on the color and time of day. But yes, yeah, like I don't think he has any good rewards. You could just click on him manually. But the weakest one here, I'm pretty sure, is this Crowder bot. Super weak. If you click on him, it tells you how much HP he'll have, his items. He is very weak. This can freeze you, it's only kind of trouble, but yes. 14 HP, you train your pet for a week with the doubloons, you could easy fight this guy, be eligible to get the armored nag, neocoal tokens, and cold stones. Wonderful. If you want a little more pizzazz and you're like, what? you're dumb like me, what I did for a while is I killed the mutant mohog 
for the on hard for the Mohawk transmog potion. He had 56 HP. I'm like, oh, I, I can definitely do that. This item has fluctuated back and forth in price, but basically, I would still kill the armored neg guy. Just to me, it just feels simpler, straightforward. But if you actually have a strong, we're talking like close to a thousand hit points pet, and you don't have premium, or you could actually now basically not take it if you don't want to. What you would do is kill the snowager. Snowager. He's somewhere cold. <clears throat> right here you want this if you go up here this there's, there's nothing too important here but if we click on him again if we click on this it's always nice to get items that actually you can search on the super shop wizard 400k a little more maybe what time is it make sure I do my battles <laughs> So yeah, it's 480k, and you maybe get two a week, but to not have premium to get possibly a million, which I think's like six nerf mids? No, no, no. Yeah, six and a half nerf mids. So yeah, like hey, it's I would do it personally. Like just once again, if you don't know what to do, just fight that weak robot and try and get those nags. Train your pet. It's only gonna take you a week to do it, and you're gonna be making slow steady progress right here nope and actually how do you get them as a def it should tell you here how to get it actually uh, let me check actually so i think he's actually an automatic person you can fight no matter what i'm gonna check uh, i'm gonna check uh one more so yeah this this site shows you how to do it i'll probably link it basically you just have to Visit the snow agent when he's sleeping and he blasts you, you unlock him. I think the Mohawk's pretty easy too. Yeah, because I'm dumb again. There's actually just a, a link to click. So basically, you want to fight various people. I said the Mohawk, right? How do we fight the Mohawk? You just click this and it will tell you information. Cool. He's automatic. Easy peasy. Who's not automatic? Who could be? Lava Ghoul. I don't think the Koi Warrior 2 you can't get anymore. Maybe, I don't know. Like this, random event. Okay, just get lucky. Yeah, ref so basically you go here and you just F5 and you would unlock him. Pretty straightforward. Easy peasy. So now I'm going to battle quickly because I got a few minutes. Uh, I might need one more because. Uh, I don't typically one shot him. And then uh, I want to talk about the training post for a minute or two before I go because I made a fool of myself that already doing that. Okay, battle dome. I'm really squeezing it in here the last second. This is all I do. Jets the mace. This one shots him sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. He can freeze you for like two turns. It's super annoying. He smacks you. You can get prizes when it says this, but basically you get 15. If you don't believe me, just deposit everything. And you could always just go check manually. Eventually it will tell you to stop fighting. You can't get any more rewards. <clears throat> and for anyone who wants the battle dome, then they get basically they get a free win against Jets the Mace. Your pet can be like 60 HP, get to level 50, you get that skill. I think it's called Lens Flare, and he can't do nothing for a whole turn. So you just smack his face for a free turn. Lens Flare. If you learn the wrong skill, you could just relearn it. It's as simple as you got to do that. But yeah, most people average a Nurkman a day. I'm just not part of the blessed to do that. <laughs> but yeah, so basically, he hasn't froze me yet, so that's why I'm not getting my uh, cheeks collapsed. But sometimes it's like some people, it says like the game's glitch for them, but mine tells me exactly what happens. 
since you didn't have a chance to fight me, it doesn't load, it doesn't say anything. But yeah, I got that hard code some because I'm in any battle dome. He'll hit me once here at some point, and you'll see. <clears throat> so NP limit. The harder you play an opponent, you get a little more NP. But I think it's like 1500. It's it's negligible. I wouldn't worry about it. He's gonna smack me here. Watch, I'll go down here and show you. He's gonna say something. So he put me to sleep, so I can't do nothing. He healed. And see there. I did damage. He deflected that and he died. GG. Get rag. <clears throat> you got any concerns or comments? Come to the Discord. There's people who know more about it than I do. There's people who beat the Snowager. Some people can get two Nurkments a day. That just ain't me. Don't worry if it doesn't say what you got. You can when you refresh your inventory, you'll see it. Don't worry about it. Same thing with Talia's thing, like, you might not see it show up instantly, but... I've, like, so for example, I could just check right here to see what I've actually gotten. Make sure I buy one of these, actually. I could just count them. I would go... <clears throat> if I could load my inventory, thank you. So I have gotten one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I still mowed five rewards. Every day it resets at midnight, Neo time, you get 15 more rewards. It's that simple. Like I said, that armored nag is pretty cool. You probably only got to spend like 75 to 100k to get there. And yeah, like some early on, you got to like heal every battle. But hey, that that's the price of paying business. Basically, if you get one armored nag, that's gonna pay for all your training for free. And that is pretty sweet. So I could be, I could get prizes there. Let's see, I've gotten that twice, I think. So yeah, I gotten more prizes. That's kind of in the way. It's kind of annoying me. Am I in battle already? Oh no, I'm in battle. Obviously you can't heal in battle. But basically you, you could heal, basically what you would do. Basically, hey, you know, you want, like you have a few tabs open. Okay, you beat him. Now you can heal your pet and then play again. He's gonna be full health. <clears throat> Saves you time, just have like four or five potions. If you need to heal every fight, just go buy 14. Like. Eventually it'll say that you've reached the item limit, then you refresh, and I got complete nothing. I got a code stone and a token. We'll use that. I want to talk now shortly about the auction house and trading post. I always use my own Neocoil tokens. Okay, I want to see if I actually ever get lucky. Nope. All right, trading post because some I call <laughs> I accuse someone today of being a scammer when they just didn't know what to do. Okay, so obviously you know that the max bid is two million. So the best you could offer is two million. So some players just don't know how to navigate that, but the most common way to get around that is to offer things called ETS. Is it ETS? Whatever. They're easily sellable items. Easily tradable. So I, I don't even know. I'm too dumb to remember. Really. But basically, these are worth 600k every day, all day, yesterday, tomorrow, your funeral, your dog's birthday. These are always worth 600k. If you don't believe me, you can't super shop with them. Oh yeah, there's actually a tip here I want to tell people that for some reason. Yeah, but basically 600k all day. You can offer 10 items, but you can you can always offer basically eight mil in cash to any trade by offering those. Do the math, 600k each. For anyone who posts a lot in here, to prevent yourself from ever getting ever getting in trouble, it'll always max max out at six digits. So if you have an expensive item, just always hit it 
till you can't hit it no more. You can't go over a million. Cannot. It always goes to six digits. So if it costs 800k, this way you know, and then just please, as just a PSA, public safety announcement, after you post the item, please just either search the item again or just shop front. Those little commas are wonderful. Then you would just check, okay, mine's right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, back to here, okay. <clears throat> Let's find a trade worth a trade worth over or whatever. So look at this, okay? He wants 1.9 million plus one baby. So 1.9 plus 600K, it's two, he wants 2.5 million. So you could basically offer him, he wants 2.4, you could basically, 2.4, I'm kind of dumb, I figured it out. So 2.4 divided by 600K, my divided by thing is broken. You could just offer him four paintbrushes and I'm sure he would take it. This makes sense, right? It's 2.5, okay, it's 2.5, dirt. So basically six times, you could do 600, K times four would be 2.4. You could offer him four paintbrushes at 100K. I can almost guarantee you he would accept that. Pretty straightforward, okay? And basically, if the guy says pure only, anyone down here saying pure? No. Let's say he, okay, he wants pure. So obviously you could offer two million pure, but say this was a candy paintbrush. All you would do is you would click on his profile Avoid the CAPTCHA. Okay, daily reset. You would go Neo Mail and you would basically go, I am interested in, you would go, I am interested in paying 14 million for Candy PB. Let me know. Neo friend auction, please. So you would send him, you'd do that, you'd send that message, and then you'd go back over here. Oh, one more tip I gotta show you guys too, actually. You would then click Neo friend, and they would send him a Neo friend invitation, but I don't want to just solicit someone, I don't know. That's pretty straightforward. Okay, a second thing that I want to explain to people who might not know is okay. Why do I see sometime crazy selling things go for a whole bunch of money? Let's just, maybe I can find one here. Maybe I'll search fairy. You're like, why is this fairy selling for a hundred million or 72 million? Or like, you'll see that every so often. Basically how that works is sometimes people will sell very expensive items, okay? The most tried and true thing to ever exist recently is thunder sticks. Okay, great battle dome weapon. They've gone up because people were scared it was going to be an AC cap reward. I think they're worth between 200 and 250. I don't even know. This guy wants 200 million. Okay, so you can't get the max you can offer on an item on the trading post is 100 million. So how you do this trade, you just basically you usually go into the Neo Discord or Neo Place. You publicly you would just like you do a trade there publicly, or you'd find out who they are. Because it's what you would do is say, "Okay, I want to buy it." They would put up two auctions. What they would do is they go like this. They would put up for auction. Okay, the game wants to schematic me. What they would do is they put up two items, fifty million. One, two, three, one, two, three. This one hour, it would post it for a hundred million. I would post two items like this that would total 200 million. Then I would tell him put in the bid. And then because bids in the auction house can't be reversed, they can't be taken away. He does one, he bids two. I then go over here to my inventory and I will then gift to neo friend i would send the item to him he gets it instantly when the auction goes over i will get it 
there's a certain level of trust you have to have in the person you're doing with. Like, try to find someone on like the Neo Discord or someone else or someone to help you with more information. But I'm not sure how common scamming is at the highest level, but that's why that happens. Because some things are worth three, four, five, six, eight hundred million, and there has to be a way for some people to get assurance of the money and to do it. There's a lot of really well-known resellers, traders, buyers, that kind of stuff. And just if you don't really know, ask about it. If you got 200 million, I'm sure you kind of know what's going on, but that's what you should know. Okay. For some reason, people have a trouble searching people's names. Okay. So underlines don't work in searching, search them up, right? Okay. It should, so it should show nothing, but I think my Neofred, I'm not really sure. Uh, Let's just see. Is anyone here I could search? Ah. Let's take the fights real quickly. Hold on. Okay, I think I think they legit fixed it, but basically the, the workaround for it, or for some reason it doesn't work, so this has an underline. It might be they have to do multiple underlines. I don't even know, but basically, I got the. Did I? What am I doing here? Get it together. That's the name. Is that Rihanna? If you could please let me copy paste you. But before, basically, it would search here where it would say user not found. How you get around that's very simple. You just go click somewhere. You click on your own name. And right here, all you would do is just erase till it hits equal sign. Then you just copy paste in their name. And it will search their profile automatically. And then this is pretty extravagant. Then you could either hit, like, this should be a neo friend right there. You could neo friend them. You should could copy paste their name up here somewhere. <laughs> but actually, let me just see where their name actually is. It's somewhere up there, but yeah. That way you can find them more directly, but that's a very complicated page. But I think that's all I wanted to share. Once again, if you got this far, that's wild. Come hang on the Discord or come educate me on stuff that I missed in the game. I think that's most of it. I didn't really plan ahead what I was going to show. This is more spur of the cuff here. Just wanted to make sure people know stuff. So, hope you learned something new. Hopefully, you can teach me something new. And good luck making new points.